Community Red Effort Tree would like to congratulate Dan Hoff Law and Great Lakes Mechanical for the 2018 Compassion and Employer Award. Congratulations for doing an amazing job at showing compassion to your employees and their families going through a medical crisis. Congratulations. My name is Sherry Lodebauer and I work for attorney Dan Hoff for 25 years. The name of our firm is Hoff Bouchaw and Matushak and I was diagnosed with stage 3C ovarian cancer on October 6th of 2015 and from the minute that he found out he told me that he would do whatever he could to help me out and he did just that. The doctors told me to reduce my stress so he put my workload around and so that I wasn't stressed out there. He, when my counts went low and I wasn't able to come into work because of my immune system being low, he set up my computer at home, that it was set up with the work computer so I could work from home. He had people from the office come and bring me mail and work that I could concentrate on that instead of what I was going through. And he was just phenomenal with everything that he did. What we do here is it's a family environment. We work as a team. Um, so I'd like to take a lot of credit for this, but I can't. What happened is when Sherry got sick, um, they all rallied around her. Um, we had people that could do bits and pieces of her job, but one of her job, you know, the only person that could do it uh, was her. And we never mandated anything. I could have hired it out if I had to. But with a good work ethic that she has, she just wanted to keep working and it kept her spirits up, it kept her, it kept her going, um, it, and everybody rallied around her. But what can you say about Sherry? She's the most loyal, great employee anybody could ever ask for. These are good people that work for me and try to, I don't even think of it as work for me. I look at more as that we're working together. We, we have a common goal to provide great service to our clients. and. I think it's the way every small business should treat their employees who have been so good to them. That's pretty much the way it is because when Sherry was down, I didn't have to ask some of her fellow employees to, to do things. Mary Jo, for instance, started picking up stuff and would drop stuff off over at her house. And it was like a sister to her. And so it, it, that's what you should have in your work environment. Um, that's the way it should be around there. I, I just try to provide an environment that I know if it was me, I would want to work. I had chemo, then surgery, and then another batch of chemo. So I had seven months where I was basically working part-time or not working. And I have a lot of friends where they're, they go with the family medical leave and if they aren't back in 120 days, their job is gone or they're not able to to maintain the schedule or the shift that they had. So that is something that is extremely important. And if an employer, you know, treasures the work that you do and, and you do good work for them, I think they should turn around and be supportive of you. My son was diagnosed back in 2008 with leukemia. So we um, spent quite a bit of time down at Children's Hospital. Um, I had called back to Great Lakes to let them know what was going on and they were very receptive in making sure I had time off of work to be able to take care of my son whenever needed, doctor's appointments. Um, we had a couple hospital stays where we were there a couple weeks. Um, our first stint down at the hospital in Milwaukee was um, a good month before I returned back to work and um, some of his drugs that he received he was allergic to so then we ended up having to go down to Milwaukee three times a week which meant that I missed quite a bit of work and that was ongoing for about two and a half years. Um, anytime that he had a fever or was ill we'd end up back in the hospital for a week stint and um, was missing work quite a bit and um, just wanted everybody to know how great of an employer they are. Amanda, as with all of our employees, are huge assets to us. So you do what's necessary for, their, for them and their families, what you do. They could have said, you know, this isn't working out for us. We need somebody here to keep doing the job that you're doing. Um, so it helped with medical expenses. Um, it helped with knowing that when I was able to come back to work, I still had a job to come back to. And it wasn't like, we never skipped a beat. It was, I just came back like it was, nothing happened. I believe it's exactly what you're supposed to do for your employees. Um, I don't think we went above and beyond 
you take care of those that take care of you. Without, without these people, we are not successful at all. Uh, our, our success is driven off of our employees. So you do, what, you do what's absolutely necessary. I think from an employee standpoint, that's one less thing you have to worry about. You're already worrying about your kid being in the hospital or how you're gonna pay the bills, the medical bills, and knowing that you don't have to worry about work, that's huge. You know, and um, the last thing that anybody should, anybody should have to worry about, in a, like in Amanda situation, is worrying about if you have a job when you come back. Mm -hmm. you know, you're huge. supposed to be worrying about your family and about your children. It, it's our job as employers to make sure that all of our employees can take care of their families. This is secondary and everything works out. If you would like to nominate your employer for the 2019 Compassion Employer Award, go to our website at communitybenefittree.org and nominate them today.